Prepare to launch your dreams. Discover a standalone opportunity built on quality, honesty, and integrity. We have all seen the deception and trickery that many companies have used in the past. The ladders to climb and the hoops to jump through was more like a circus than a grand plan to be financial free. Our mission is to bring integrity back to free enterprise. There is a lot to be admired here and many things to be thankful for, like no out-of-pocket expense, no inventory, no parties or meetings away from home. Freemart is a free profit-sharing shopping club with a vision to heal the earth and improve your quality of living. Freemart is not a network marketing or direct sales company or business in the sense that we are all too familiar with. It's simple. Just think for a moment. The act of kindness. How many times have you told someone about a great sale, a good movie, or a fine restaurant? Freely sharing great things is natural for most of us, and yet we don't expect to be rewarded for doing so, even though you were instrumental in generating additional profits for them, right? Now imagine receiving on a regular basis profit sharing from big box stores that carry eco-friendly product, effective nutritional, agricultural minerals, just to name a few. Freemart has the momentum to be that big. Our experts have purposely structured a company unlike anything that has ever been done before. This is remarkable history. The momentum is building in global markets with people from all walks of life who share the Freemart story. As a first of its kind industry innovator, Freemart gives you a lifetime membership and all the support you need to be receiving company profits. Most importantly, there is never any obligation for you to purchase a product in order to get paid. Members buy products because they want to, not because they have to. Freemart is committed to bringing members premium, state-of-the-art products and services. Freemart will continue to stay ahead of the curve in the coming months and years, providing exclusive, life-changing products, great service, with incredible value exclusive only to Freemart. This is how it works. You receive rewards when any member you refer or they refer makes a product purchase. It extends even further. When your referred member shares this amazing opportunity with others, you receive generous bonuses and rewards from a unique Fast Start bonus program and nine-level pay plan. As you well know, this has unlimited potential for part-time or serious full-time income. Share the Freemart story and join the club where we are mission-based and commission naturally follows. Freemart could be your golden ticket to the freedom you've been searching for. Take advantage of this phenomenal business model that's in place and meet our team of experts willing to help you right now. Get back to the member that shared this video with you and secure your position today. I'm your moderator today, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank you all for tuning in, for being a part of this wonderful show where we're here every Tuesday morning at 9 a.m. Central Time to bring to you and to introduce to the world the wonderful opportunity of Shaw Free Mind. And we do it in a quite a number of ways. We've been having a lot of um, unbelievable interviews of individuals who have been a part of this journey and who have been a part of building Shaw Free Mind together as one team with one dream and who has expressed their personal lives to you so you get a chance to know them and understand that 
that being a part of this wonderful opportunity doesn't mean that you have to be all of this and all of that and accomplish this and accomplish that. It's just an individual as humble and as simple as you may be, as I may be, to just making a decision to want to make a difference in the world and team up with some incredible people you're going to hear about today to make a difference in this world. So that's what we do. Every Tuesday I'm here. I'm excited. I want to thank all my friends in the Bahamas. We're still praying for you. We're going to pray for you again this morning. Uh, my friends over in Africa and Europe, around the United States of America, that tune in every week and support us. And for those of you that uh, know people that you would like to, to, to maybe hear about the show or to be a part of it, you can have them always tune in to uh, youtube.com forward slash GMAP1 uh, CJ, and you will be able to hear a rebroadcast of the show every Tuesday afternoon or no later than the next day. So we're going to thank you for being a part of the show, and I really am excited again today because I'm excited every Tuesday. In fact, I wake up excited every day. Whether I'm having a great day or a bad day, I always wake up grateful and thankful for just the breath that I have in my body that I'm able to go out there and be a part of life, be a part of making a difference in other people's lives, being a part of making a difference in my family lives. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I just, I'm just always excited. And I hope that you feel that energy. I hope that if you woke up this morning and you were feeling down and out and feeling maybe discouraged, didn't have the energy that you usually do, I hope you're hearing my words, and I hope that that turns around for you, because guess what? It's only 9 o'clock here in Chicago, and it's still early, so there's a chance for you to really change that and turn that around. I'm excited today because... We got a chance to hear from you, our audience today. Um, you know, every week for the last uh, several weeks, especially during the summer, we've been having uh, we've been having uh, guests that comes on and doing interviews. I mean, again, we've had some incredible interviews. We interviewed some great leaders, of which every one of them that came on was a part of the leadership. Every one of them, whether they were just starting and hearing about Shelf Remart, were part of leadership because I believe that we all are born leaders. We just need to develop it and, 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 and turn it and, and work with it and, and let it become all that we can possibly be. So I want to give God, first of all, thanks for allowing me to be here every Tuesday because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here. If it wasn't for him and his grace and his mercy, I wouldn't be able to have the opportunity to share with you and use this voice to help bring some clarity and some understanding of what we are and what we do and why we do what we do here at Shaw Fremont and also a part of the show Healthy, Wealthy, and Wise. Before I get started today, I want to say uh, we don't have a, a guest today, but I, I want to open, open up today's show for you to come on and express some of the things that are going on in your life. And I want to have a, a basically a, an open statement before we get into that discussion because some things have been happening that are just really could if you, if you if you were just a normal person and didn't know in whom you believe and whom you are you would crumble under what's happening in this world today and so i want you to understand that no matter how dark it may be no matter how dark the clouds may appear there's always light on the other side there's always that that possibility of hope and that is what we're bringing to you every Tuesday and including today so again I want you to get prepared to be a part of this um, as you know we had the uh, several weeks ago the hurricane that just came over the Bahamas and devastated that country uh, they're still uh, in the process of rebuilding and just getting back on their feet uh, they were knocked down but I say this to you they were not knocked out they did not go down for the count. I'm communicating with my family, and I thank God they're all alive and all doing well. And I'm communicating with some friends and just doing some WhatsApp texting and chatting back and forth. And everybody is looking up. Everybody is looking at the higher calling and, and, and have that optimism of the Bahamas, especially Abaco and Grand Bahama, rebuilding again and being even greater than it was. So I want to just take this time to acknowledge that Things are still rough, but 
there is light at the end of the tunnel. There is joy that will come in the morning. So I want to lift up a prayer to uh, my country and all my fellow Bahamians, uh, especially those that are listening in. And I, and I look at all of us are one, united in one, whether we're from Africa, United States, from Europe, from the Caribbean, from South America. We're all one. And so we're all in this together. The world has shown that when a country, when a, a nation is in despair, there are some of us, a lot of us that come together and support and encourage and and do tangible things to make a difference. I was overwhelmed at all of the celebrities, all of the companies, all of the individuals, uh, uh, you know, all the, the the athletes, everyone who's saying, "Hey, look here, we have to support the radio talk shows." Uh, everyone, they are coming on board and saying, "Let's support this country." All the pastors that are, are just raising funds and sending supplies and, and resources over there. And, and we thank God for all of that. Uh, and there are those that we want to pray for this morning also that lost lives, uh, family members that didn't make it. Some are still missing. And I was just talking to a very good friend of mine uh, on the call on this morning, earlier this morning. He was saying, CJ, uh, the numbers of people that are missing, when it's all said and done, the numbers are probably going to be in the thousands of people who have perished because of this hurricane. And that's a sad thing. But you know what? God is still on the throne, and he still knows what he's doing. So I'm going to lift up a prayer right now, and I just hope that you will join me in this. So, Father, Lord God, we thank you for who you are. We understand, Lord God, that you are a perfect God. You are a God that do not make mistakes. You are a God that knew that Hurricane Dorian was going to come across the Bahamas and devastated that country, Lord God, the way it did. But, Father, Lord God, I know that you have a plan that supersedes our understanding, that supersedes our sight, that supersedes our our knowledge, Lord God. But we know, Lord God, that you are going to do something great where you will be glorified even in this. So we pray a blessing over the country. We pray a blessing over the people. We pray a blessing over the government and the leaders that have to make serious decisions, oh God. We pray, Lord God, that you will continue to strengthen them and let them know that even though they're going through uh, de depression, they're going through devastation, that you still have that country in the palm of your hand. And we do believe, oh God, that you are going to build it, you are going to rebuild it, you are going to restore it to be even stronger than it was yesterday. And so we thank you for that, Lord God. I pray that you will comfort those that lost loved ones, those that are still hoping that their loved ones will show up, Lord God. Pray that pray in the name of Jesus that you will comfort their hearts and let them know, Lord God, that you have them, that you will be there for them. You will strengthen them and encourage them, Lord God, to be all that you've called them to be, Lord God. Now, give them everything that they need, Lord God, to build. I pray that the resources will come from all around the world to help rebuild that country. We also pray for those other areas of the country, Lord God, in the eastern coast of the United States and even in Houston where they're experiencing all the flooding and people are losing their homes and their, their, their belongings, Lord God their person belongings. We pray that you will bless them also and make provisions for them as well. Oh God, we know that these are the end days. We know that time is short. We know the enemy knows this, and that's why he's raising havoc, Lord God. But we believe that we are going to come out bigger, better, and stronger because of it. So we give you thanks for it right now. We praise you. We glorify you, Lord God, and we just give you honor because of who you are. Thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. I hope that you were agreeing with me in that prayer because that prayer was symbolic of what I really want our discussion to be about this morning. So if you're listening in and you know someone that needs to be on this call, please text them, email them, call them and tell them get on this call because we want to hear from some of you today. And you're going to know why I say that because I really want to get some perspective and some ideas and some thoughts and feelings of what's going on in your life in regard to the chaos that we find ourselves in in this world today. And so that is what we're going to talk about today. I uh, had the, the fortune of going to Dallas, Texas this weekend and spend some time with my beautiful daughter, Chantel, and uh, her along with a group of other individuals, Bahamians in the Chicago Metroplex, uh, not Chicago, the Dallas Metroplex area. I put on an event, which was their inaugural event of I on Bahamas, which is Igniting Our Nation Bahamas, that they started a small group there in the 
Texas area, and they had their first fundraiser, and they invited me to come in to be the MC, and I was so happy and proud to do that. It was a lot of work. A lot got into it. I mean, they did a tremendous job. The commitment and the hard work, the camaraderie, the, the unity that they expressed, and it was a beautiful event. And all of the funds coming from that event was going to be heading to the Bahamas for the hurricane relief. And so I was very proud to be a part of that and I'm very proud of what she had put together there. So uh, I want to thank all of those that came and participated. And we know that uh, all your gifts will be a blessing to so many other people. So we came back yesterday and, and just yesterday, and I want to tell you where, 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 we, where we're at in this world right now and why this call, this show, this broadcast today is so, so important. Why this broadcast is it's going to be basically a, a, a changing of minds, hopefully, of people understanding that Shelf Premart is a company that we promote every single week on Healthy, Wealthy, and Wise. And, and we do that because we truly believe that there are a lot of things out there. There are a lot of opportunities out there. But with this particular company, which we know is divinely guided, was birthed out of prayer, was birthed out of a vision, a godly division that was given to a man by the name of Mr. John Austin. We know that this company was brought here for such a time as this. I, I, I mean, I can go into all the details about why that is, uh, the fact that it doesn't cost you anything to start uh, start with this company as far as it being a business, as far as just being involved with it, really wanting to get products. You don't have to come with your pocket to, to be a part of this. It's free. It's a free opportunity for you to be a part of something great. Uh, that there are no demands that they're putting on you to buy this and do this and do that. You just do whatever you are able to do. It is the perfect situation for the regular. Uh, regular guy like myself, you know, just the average Joe who was looking for something to do that's positive but didn't have the means, whether it be the know-how or the finances or the techniques or the skills to do it, Shaw Fremont has the ability to invite you to come in and be all that you can be even if you didn't have those skills or resources. And so there's so many things that John Austin did to make this an opportunity that the everyone can do. Not everyone will do it. Not everyone will want to do it, but everyone has the ability to do it. And that is to come in and make a difference in the world because he provided us with unbelievable products. He provided with unbelievable leadership. He provided us with unbelievable compensation plan, whereas you go out and just do what you do, which is share Ex positive experiences in your life with others, and then they in turn go and do the same thing. And that is how this thing grows. He provides us with that platform to be able to do that. And I say this, Shaw Fremont is the perfect vehicle for anyone, anyone, to be a part of it, connect with other positive thinking and positive-minded individuals to make a difference in the world. We're bringing hope, ladies and gentlemen. We're bringing hope to the masses, and that is what we do. That is what you've heard from people and individuals that we've interviewed over the last several weeks, is that this was a, a source of hope for them, and they are sharing it with others so they can be a source of hope for others as well. So we want to thank Mr. John Austin for creating Shaw Fremont. We want to thank all the leaders that have been a part of it. Uh, there are so many people around this country and around the world that are sharing Shaw Fremont. And we do believe that this will be a household name in the future moving forward because of what has been created here. So I want to, us to take that as, a, as a, a, a backdrop for what this show is going to be today. But let me finish telling you, as I came back yesterday, I got uh, a phone call from a friend of mine who told me that, you know, they were on their way to a wake. Uh, they were getting ready to go to a funeral because one of their very close friends had passed away. I got another call uh, earlier today, actually, a uh, text, actually, from a friend from the Bahamas who informed me that their loved one had passed away, and uh, it, it was just so much sadness. Then I got home, and I, I, I talked to, to uh, some friends that are uh, uh, here in my ha house, and we, we started talking, and, and he said, yeah, I've got to get my car ready because i got to go to Chicago tomorrow uh, for a funeral. And it was like, man, what a depressing day. I mean, everywhere I turned, everyone I talked to, there was this talk of death, talk of, of darkness, talk of, of just, you know, things that, 
you know, you, you, you want to wake up and hear about positive things. You want to hear about exciting things. But the reality of that set in with me, and it just made me realize how grateful we all should be. And then this morning, I was talking to another friend, not, not directly, but through a text, and, and they said, uh, CJ, I'm getting ready to go to a funeral. I said, no, no, no. So it's like just one after the other, one after the other. And I want to contend to you that this opened my eyes to the reality of where we're at right now in this world, especially those of us that are baby boomers, those of us I like to call seasoned individuals. I know there are some young people that are listening on here, and you know, and sometimes uh, as a young person, you always feel like, you know, well, we got forever to live. Uh, we don't have anything to worry about. You know, uh, you know we're, we're good. But reality is that you need to to rethink that kind of thinking because, you know, no one is safe in this world today, especially here in the United States and even other parts of the world. But you know what? Uh, Just for example, all the shootings that are going on, um, all the travesty with the weather that's going on. I mean, there's, there's no guarantee of anything, no matter how old you are. But as a seasoned person, as a baby boomer, a proud baby boomer, that is, you know, it you have to stop in your tracks and just just. Think for a minute. Just kind of resonate with what the reality is of what's going on in this world. And you got to understand that that something is going on, something different is going on. I mean, I didn't want to get into all the political stuff and all the stuff in the sports world, all the all the negative stuff that's going on. But when I got these the information on these things of people just moving on and passing on to the next uh, level. And, and, and just like, my goodness, there's something that we have to do and have to understand. And so I thought about Shaw Mark. And the thing that came to me is that we have got a big job ahead of us. We have a big responsibility ahead of us. I was listening to one of Coach Kim's training the other day. And she gave a powerful training on the uniqueness and attractiveness of Shaw Fremont. Uh, she mentioned there were about 50, and I'm sure there's even more than that, reasons why anyone should seriously consider being a part of Shaw Fremont as a, val, uh, a viable vehicle or platform to build a business that is making such a tremendous difference in the lives of others all around the world today. And I want to kind of expound on that a little bit, but maybe in a different light. Um, and I want that to be our platform this morning. So I'm going to start off by saying this. Um, and, and, and I'm going to take a minute to for you to just kind of uh, reflect on your thoughts and maybe see what it is that you want to express and bring to the table in regards to what I've been talking about this morning, the fact that we at Shaw Fremont, we as leaders, we as individuals, maybe you're not even a part of Shaw Fremont, yet, but you're just listening you know, uh, to this call or you came across it, and maybe you just have a heart for humanity. Maybe you have a heart to see changes in this world. Maybe you understand what I'm talking about that we, we only have a small window, a short period of time, to really go out there and do what God has called us to do. And you can resonate with my words. So I want you to think about that. Uh, so I want to, uh, you know, maybe just pause for a minute, maybe take a, a quick break. And when I come back, I want to set the tone for what I want our discussion to be about this morning. And I want to encourage you to call in. I want to encourage you to speak up. I want to encourage you to share your heart, whether it be an experience of being a part of Shaw Fremont, being a, uh, your experience of your desire uh, to where you see Shaw Fremont going and how it's going to impact this world that is so dark and so uh, all the drudgery and the chaos and the, uh, the mayhem that's happening in this world and how you see Shaw Fremont as that that uh, uh, that lighthouse, that opportunity that people have and they can come towards for safety, for help, for support, for encouragement. Uh, maybe you can can expound on that and where and come from your own perspective. And let's have that discussion today. Okay, so I'm going to um, have a quick break, 
And on the other side of this break, we're going to start this discussion. So I want to encourage you to call in and let's share from your heart. Ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to Healthy, Wealthy, and Wise. My name is CJ, and we're here every Tuesday uh, morning uh, where we can be uh, a source of hope for others. We're at gmap1.com. You can call in. You can tune in. You can listen to this show later. But we thank you for being a part of this, and we want you to share this information with others. We want to thank gmap1.com. Uh, we want to thank the Network Gentry Broadcast. Uh, TV broadcast media ministry that that's out there every single day sharing wonderful teaching. We want to thank our producer uh, and the owner of GMAP1, Pastor Kevin Strada, for being here every week for us, making sure that we get this word out. So I'm going to take just a minute break, a short break, and we're going to be back to start this discussion. And again, thank you for being a part of Healthy, Wealthy, and Wise. Okay, I took that time to just reflect my thoughts before we got started with this discussion. I hope you're listening in and prepared to come on and uh, be a part of the show today and just share your thoughts. Uh, but here's what I want to do. Um, I want to open up this discussion uh, with, a, with just a broad statement. And I hope it reflects on my heart and uh, what I want to really let our audience hear and know about in regards to what we're doing at Shaw Fremont. But, but here is my statement. Life is too short. This world is in chaos, and we only have a little time to make a mark on this world. We only have a short window to make a difference in the lives of others. We have been blessed to have the life in our bodies, to have the knowledge of Shaw Fremont and what it has to offer. And I think we have a clarion call, a tremendous responsibility, a mandate to go out there and share this with the world. Now, some of us are doing it at different levels because we know not everybody is the same. I always say if someone, you know, some of us are working a full-time job, we're taking care of our children, we're taking care of our, our responsibilities at home, we're, uh, we're involved with that church, we're involved with this committee, we're involved with civic activities, and we don't have the time as someone who may be retired and, you know, maybe not as involved with other things and have the time and energy to put in this. I understand that. That's great. But what time and energy and effort you do have, you need to find something, if you need to find something to put into in a positive way and put your energies in to that thing, I will say to you that that is Shaw Fremont. That's being a part of a wonderful team. Uh, because I really do believe that this Shaw Fremont is going to make a difference in a lot of people's lives. And we have to do it now because, again, there is so much craziness going on. And so with that being the backdrop of this discussion, I, I want to see if there's anyone on the line that we can, uh, I'm going to call on our engineer, again, our host, uh, Pastor Kevin Strada. Are you there, sir? Pastor Kevin? Okay, maybe he's taking a, a break there, but I want to uh, just encourage you to, uh, you know, think, have your thoughts to, and see what is it that you can do to make a difference in this time as we are, you know, looking at all the devastation that's going on. And uh, just, just, just reflect on that for a second. Just reflect on that for a second because uh, I, I want you to give your input. So I'll give you a moment to just think about that. Okay, 
Now that you've gathered your thoughts, I want to go to the lines and open them up now for you to come on and just tell me, based on what you heard me talking about this morning, with all the stuff that's going on in the world, the devastation with hurricane, the devastation with, I mean, there was an earthquake yesterday. I just damaged buildings, and I don't know if there were any lives lost. I mean, the stuff that's happening in Houston, the East Coast is still regrouping from the hurricane that went past there. Come and share with us your feelings in regards to being a part of Shaw Fremont and why you feel this company is was created for such a time as this. Let's go to our first caller. Who do we have on the line? Is my line open? Yes, who, just tell us your name and where you're calling from, and then you have the floor. Perfect, perfect. This is Coach Kim. Good morning. How are you, CJ? Oh, good morning, Coach Kim. It's so good to have you on the call this morning. Thank you so much for being here. Man, I'm pumped up. You know, as I was listening to you, I'm gonna stop bouncing because I'm jumping while I'm talking. So I'm gonna, I'm going to uh, put my mind on, on your reflective thoughts. And this is uh, my two cents in this area. I think that uh, Shop Free Mart really parallels the Christian journey in a very special way. And in my mind, it's 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 thusly. Just like when people pass and move to the other side, you know, those who have a greater hope, we understand that it's not the end but a beginning. And so we don't mourn in the same way as those who have no hope. And I would say the exact same thing parallels to our shop free mark business. So when we hear the bad news, the bad diagnoses of the doctor or, you know, a bad situation, we still have hope. We say, yes, the doctor put a period there, but I can put a semicolon there. I can help you not have to succumb to that situation. I can give you a living hope, and it's beyond the words and beyond the hype and beyond the suppositions. I can help you dig yourself out. Here, here's a shovel. I got one. You got one. Let's dig yourself out of this situation. So give me that white flag. Throw that white flag of surrender away because you're not giving up. You don't have to give up. Let's start speaking life into your situation, and let's start taking some positive actions towards your situation. CJ, there have been studies that have shown that when a doctor tells a patient that, I'm sorry, you have cancer, you can go home and start preparing yourself, prepare your family for the shutdown. Your cells are so intelligent by God's design that they understand, they speak the language that the doctor is speaking. And so when your doctor says that, your cells say, oh, the factory's shutting down. Okay, I'm I'm just going to go and work stoppage. We're not going to get paid anymore. I'm just going to shut down. I'm going on strike two. And other shut cells literally just shut down because this authoritarian speaker has spoken death to your cells. Now, your job, you have a choice. You're at a fork in the road. You can either co-sign with a doctor or you can say, you can just duck and say, oh, that was not for me. <laughs> Thanks for sharing your expertise. So we're going to go on plan B. We appreciate it, but we have a greater hope. We know that our body is regenerative. We know that if we give our body the right minerals and the right hydration and the right tools and the right environment, we know that we can revive the circumstances. So that's why I love Shop Fima. It is a land of the living. It is a land of better choices. It's a land of living on a higher authority. And we can help you do that. I know those are big words and big concepts. And everyone, oh, so-and-so had cancer. You had prostate. Oh, yeah, I know someone had prostate. And they'll take you down that road like, like, like uh, you know, hot grits. Hot grits through somebody's intestine. It'll take you down that road so quickly. You have to be around people who think like Shop 30 Mark winners. Right, and so we're all in the process of shop free market because it's our gut reaction to, to 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 be alarmed and to be fretful and to worry. That's gut. That's natural. But I'm telling you, you got to step out of that and start talking to some life speakers who are in shop free market who can help you win. So those are my thoughts, <laughs> CJ. Thank you for allowing me to share. Oh, 
you so much, Coach Kim. Those are so powerful words. I, I, I totally, totally uh, in line with what you're saying. I mean, you know, sometimes we get these these negative, um, or, or I should say, uh, dark um, information from people. You know about. Uh, negative things that are happening in their lives and in our lives and in the world and and we're running around just like chicken little saying the sky is falling the sky is falling mm-hmm. instead of uh, saying you know you know no 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 the sky isn't falling what do I need to do to change this environment what do I need to do to turn this around and and that's why I love Shafri Ma because as you said and in, in, in you know even in your training the other day of all the positive things the uniqueness of this company that is one of the things that really resonated with me from the very beginning is that we do have those Christian principles where we do believe there is still hope, where we do believe that, you know, being uh, diagnosed with cancer or high blood pressure or your kidneys are failing, that that's not a death sentence necessarily. Amen. That you at something that God gave to John Austin to say, hey, look here, uh, you know, let these people know that they can change their mindset. Start thinking positive. Start getting around people. Up. I like what you said. We need to put ourselves around positive thinking people, and that's what we have at Shoffrey Mart. We have people who believe that there is a hope, that there is an opportunity for things to get better and to be better. And so I even put that blessing over my country because there are people out there who are just emotionally distraught right now to let mm-hmm. them know that the sky is not falling, that there's going to be hope even in their devastation. And that's the attitude of Shaw Free Mind. Go ahead, Coach Kim. I was just going to say that, you know, as I said that, um, you know, Shaw Free Mind and, and, and the Christian principles are parallel. Parallel lines, they never touch. They just that's, that's the nature of parallel lines. So I want to just change, I want to twist that a little bit or alter it. Because there is a touch, there is a connection. Because once you start putting the Shop Free Mart words and the Shop Free Mart products into your body, a healing can take place. And so the healing is not, this is the beauty of it, it's, it's a bolt of lightning, CJ. The healing is not the products. The healing is not the words. The healing is from God. It's his principles that he already told us if you become a steward over what i've given you you know i can multiply it if you speak life has anyone ever heard of the valley of dry bones right where people thought there was devastation there was no way out this is it this is the finality but god allowed someone to speak life into that and they started living again that's what we have in our mouth and in our experience, and it's our season, CJ. This, when things of devastation happen, instead of looking at each other, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, and stop using it in, in vain, we need to literally start saying, oh, my God, it's, it's on you, Lord. Oh, my God, let me step out of the way. I'm going to point to you. I'm going to be obedient to you. I'm going to speak life just like you because I'm going to close with this because I can talk to you. I know that. But I know one person said, when you, li- when you limit man, when you use man's limitations, he said, imagine how man would have come out on the first day of creation. Man would have come out and said, oh, my gosh, look how dark it is. See, it's it's just pitch black. Matter of fact, I think it's darker today than it was yesterday. It's getting darker and darker. That's how man, man is going down, 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 down. God came into that situation, and he saw the darkness, and he said, let there be light. Let there be light. So we can learn to model after him to speak what we want and not what we have in order to turn the situation around. I'm done, CJ. <laughs> Thank you again. Thank you. Well, Thank I you, sir. I know you. I know, I know you're ready to go back to your mom and girl, so you go ahead and keep jumping, keep jumping, keep jumping, because you got a lot of people jumping now. After listening to those words, <laughs> A lot of people are jumping down, so we thank you so much for being a part of the show and, and sharing your thoughts, Coach Kim. Uh, you God bless you. 
wisdom and uh, encouragement. And I, I do thank God for you every day and appreciate all that you bring to the table. And, and I thank God you've connected with so many other leaders out there that are doing the same thing. Uh, let's see if we have someone else on the call, because I want to get as many perspective and introspective on this whole topic. Because, again, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to have trials and tribulations of life. We would never promise everything was going to be Skittles and rainbows and uh, everything. We can just walk down the yellow brick road skipping like Dorothy. It, we won't promise that. We promised, in, we were assured that we will have sufferings, we will have adversities. But Shaw Fremont is saying, despite all of that, here is a roadmap. Here is the vehicle, the platform that you can use to overcome, get over the hurdle, and move on to success and being all that you can be. So let's go into our next caller. Who do we have morning, next on the line? Give us your name and where you're calling from. Good morning, CJ. Good morning. Who am I speaking to today? Hi, this is Beverly from Kansas. Beverly from Kansas, so great to have you on the call, Beverly. Um, tell us what's on your mind and what you're thinking in regards to this uh, topic today, in regards to Shop Remod and dealing with this world of despair and negativity, and how you feel Shop Remod uh, makes a difference today. Oh, there's so many roads that you can go down to cover this topic. And uh, I, I got a little bit tickled because you referenced George B. And uh, <laughs> so let's, let's, you know what, let's take that one for I, example no, first, no, right? <laughs> <laughs> so let's take Dorothy for example uh, to begin with. Uh, yes, she did have, you know, a an experience that she did not understand. And she went into a land that she was unaccustomed to. And she was all alone in her mind, except for her trusty friend, Toto. But she never lost her hope or her dream. Her dream was to get back home. She had to find her way to get home. And so she used every encounter as she went through her life journey to get to the great Oz that she heard of. And she made them her friend. And together, they worked their way to the land of Oz, even though the Wicked Witch was coming after them with the flying monkeys and, and all of that good stuff, she never lost her dreams, she never lost her hope. Now, hope can be um, defined in many ways, but a little thing that I know is hope is being able to see that there is a light despite all of the darkness. So as we go through life and we experience that darkness, we are really not taught how to deal with that darkness. The ones that have an advantage are the Christians because we mm -hmm. have been taught about God's light and, and the light he did create for the world and the light he created through his son. And if you don't have that experience in your life and you don't have that kind of internet networking in your own life, then you need to find someone who does. And they will change your life in that retrospect. <clears throat> so my, I mean, I've had several experiences, obviously, in my life being 70 years old. Uh, you know, but as it kind of, you know, started out with my son, who was a blue baby, they told me he would not live. I was mm. 17 when my son was born. And thank you, God, for my mother. She was definitely my backup during that time. And then, you know, just life knocks you down a little bit. And then, of course, I became a widow kind of in, in my early early 50s, mid-50s. Mm. And then my second heart surgery when I went to the doctor to, to discuss it. And he, uh, the doctor, wanted to assure me that he thoroughly reviewed my record. But his statement to me was, you cannot have a second surgery. There's not a surgeon that would ever touch you even if they had a 10-foot pole. You think he gave me any hope with that statement that he just, he just pronounced mm. my death right there. Mm. You know, may not have died that day, but he pronounced my death. Mm -hmm. So I called, uh, called the doctor's office and I said, okay, I'm coming, we gotta talk. And so we went to another plan, but I just said, uh, no, nope, that's not happening. I'm looking for a solution. I don't care what your negativity is. I don't care that you 
mispronounced death in my life, I'm doing something about it. So you have right. to be able to take that first step forward to bring your own hope and let that little glow, just a little glow in the dark mm-hmm. spark. And even though, you know, I've, I've been so fortunate, I've not been flooded out, I've not been burnt out, I've not, you know, I've not been in a, in a, the most severe car wreck ever that would change my life ultimately forever. Um, but still, the principle and the steps are the same. You have to take responsibility for your own hope. You have to do that. You have to make that step forward. You have to believe in yourself. You have mm-hmm. to, even in your most desperate moment, that's when the cries of God usually come out. Please help me. I don't know what to do. So if you're not willing to make that first step, then your hope may never arrive. Somebody mm. may come and be able to give you a blanket for warmth and give you a refreshing drink of water, give you a meal after your, you know, after whatever. But it's still your own personal journey. And that's what creates your character in you. That's what builds that character that we can still move forward and see. And so... So many times in an act of, um, of a disaster, people will start acting like people, and they're concerned about others. So coaches, Kim's anonym for hope is helping other people excel or exceed. That's when we finally start stepping up and stepping out is to start right. helping other people. And you're not right. focused on your own despair. You're focused on helping, and you're feeling better now about yourself because you accomplished something. Even in right. the darkest of hours, you can accomplish it. Right. So, so that's wow. my take on it. You, you know what? Up, what you said. Yeah, I thank you so much for sharing. And you know what you said is so uh, connected with what Coach Kim said. She said, "When, when your your cells, it is. I mean, that slapped me between the eyes when she said that. Your cells." can understand the language that's being spoken to your person. And they know if it's negative that's continually being bothered with negativity, that's what they kind of lean on to or hold on to. But it's up to us to speak the positive, the, 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 you know, bring the bright side, the joy, the happiness, the good things back to ourselves can get that to fight against that negativity. And, and we all know how the movie always ends, right? The good guy always come out on top. Isn't that right? And so we need to continue to give us, uh, ourselves the positive words, the positive affirmation, and we know that we can help people in whatever it may be. It may not be necessarily uh, a physical disability. It may be just something they're going through in their personal life, uh, something they're going through in their job, something they're going through with a relationship. Um, so you know what? It, it, it all what we do and how we take things to move forward. So thank you so much for those words and for all that you've overcome. And I know that your positive mindset, your desire to be better and have more has been the catalyst of your success so far and will continue to be as you uh, continue to work as a leader in Shaw Prima. Thank you so much for being a part of the show and sharing your heart, Beverly. Well, thank you, CJ, and keep up the good work. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, Let me see if we have... uh, uh, another caller on the line, we're going to come on there because I really want to get the introspective of where your mind is, what you're thinking this morning so others can hear it. So do we have another caller that's on the line? Give us your name and where you're calling from. Okay, uh, we're going to hold off, and I think the people are being a little shy to come on this morning. But you know what? As Coach Kim was speaking, as Beverly was speaking, I was just thinking about how fortunate we are that God took it upon himself to give to our founder, Mr. John Austin, and allow us to be a part of it. And ladies and gentlemen, we are 70,000 strong right now. And so I say that to say two things. Number one, we're growing. But at the same time, we're just the tip of the iceberg. We are on a road that is going to just, I mean, just break through. And just open up the waters, the floodgates, so where people are going to be coming in in droves to Shaw Fremont. Are we going to see that 70,000 become 140,000? 140,000 is going to become 300,000. 300,000 is going to become 3 million because we have something, as Coach has said in her training, uh, Coach Kim has said in her training, uh, that's consistent. 
Uh, you know, we've been here. We've been consistent. No one ever come across Chief Shelfrey Mott and said they can get hurt. No one. And so even when the, even if they're not doing anything, they're not making any money, they're not trying the products or do it, using the products like they should, they could never say something happened to Shaw Fremont that hurt me. And I guarantee you 90% or more of the companies out there cannot make that statement. So we think about the fact that God gave him the knowledge, the ability to think of providing products that actually give us the nutrients, the vitamins, uh, the, the, all of the, the things that we need uh, to, to, to put in our bodies, the, the minerals that our body needs. That 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 is was designed by him to function perfectly, and because we've had all of this distractions and uh, we've been laden with so many negativity, our bodies don't have those things anymore. But John Austin said, uh, through divine intervention, we need to give our body these nutrients, minerals, vitamins in order to 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 build and strong and be there to help us be uh, be uh, you just restore our bodies and become strong and nutri and, and 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 just be everything it's supposed to be. Bring it into equilibrium, into homeostasis. That's what we need, and we have products that do that. And we also need at the same time, even before, to get rid of uh, all the junk that's in it because of the pollution and all the things that we're faced with and, and, come, and, and, and just uh, come into contact with every single day. You know, all the, the poisons and toxins and uh, the, you know, the pollution that's in the air, we're breathing and eating and drinking. Um, products that actually cleanse our body. You know, and, and that's what John has done. And then, uh, you know, I had, you know, I always thought drinking water was important. Not that I knew that. I knew it was always important. But what I didn't know is if I'm drinking eight to nine glasses of water a day, and sometimes I did, and sometimes I didn't, but even in math, it was four glasses, five glasses, that I didn't understand that the water I was drinking, what was supposed to get into my system, wasn't actually getting in there, it was into my cells, into my bloodstream, so that it could do what it's supposed to do, which is to cleanse, restore, uh, you know, and, and flush out and all those kind of things, keep our elasticity strong, um, give us our body the chance to get the nutrients to where they're supposed to go. We were walk, walking around here, even though drinking that much water, still dehydrated. So the Lord gave him the the knowledge to introduce the hydration drops, which actually give our body the water in, in the way it should be to get into our cells to actually do what it's supposed to do. I was talking to someone, I, I can't remember who it was the other day, trying to explain to them that, yeah, drinking a lot of water is okay, but that's not the answer. You need to have the water that allows you to get into yourself for it to make a difference. Otherwise, you're just drinking a lot and passing it out, and nothing is physically going on with your body that it should or like it should. And so we have that hydration drops. And then, you know, Putting this whole combination together, the cleansing, giving our body what it needs, high, staying hydrated, is allowing people to get rid of diseases. I'm not making any claims here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not saying we heal or cure anything. All I'm saying is that what John has put together through divine providence are products that give our body what it needs to do what it is designed to do. And so I thank God for that. Uh, so, so, again, in a, in a world of despair, when I, 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 you could hear testimony after testimony after testimony of individuals say, I was going through that hurricane, I was going through that storm, through that flooding in my physical life where I wasn't, uh, uh, you know, I was given that, di that diagnosis. I was uh, not able to get up in the morning and feel good and strong and being able to spend time with my family and my kids and my grandkids and go on shopping and walks and those kind of things and spending positive time with them because of the, the malady or this, this sickness. That's, that's holding me back. And then using these products and having that thing turned around, people getting off of dialysis, people who weren't able to go to the bathroom on a regular basis now are able to go on a regular basis instead of having their body stored up and being constipated. Uh, I haven't had a chance to hear the full uh, training that John did last week on, on, on the constipation, but I encourage you, go to the website and listen to that recording. Uh, it's, it's very powerful. I'm going to have to finish that up. But www.sharfremont.com. Um, go and listen to the recording that uh, John Austin did last week because it's such a powerful uh, truth that we're all suffering from today. So even in this dark world of all these negative 
things that we're bombarded with, Shaw Mart to me is that light, that sunlight, that hope that we can provide for individuals. Uh, I don't know if we have anyone else there, um, Pastor Strato, if, uh, for the next caller to come on and express some thoughts. We only have about nine minutes left, but I want to hear from one more person. If you're out there, if you want to just open the line, tell us where you're from and what's your name and where you're calling from. Hello? Hello, are you there? I think someone might be on the line, but maybe they haven't. I'm still on the mute. Okay. That's what I had. That's what I had, CJ. How you doing today? <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell us your name and where you're calling from. It's Sally Coche. Is that who this is? You better believe it. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for being a part of the show. And tell us, <laughs> give us a reflection on what your thoughts are on the show today. Uh, you know, one of the reasons I'm in this and, and doing what I'm doing is because I think there's a better way than medicine. And I'm trying to get as many people to understand that mm-hmm. and to get their body back to the way it was before. Because I know these products have changed my life and I feel so much better. And mm-hmm. everybody that I've introduced them to they're feeling better. So, and, and that's how my, my group has grown because they're re- receiving the changes in their life that they needed. And it's, it's devastating sometimes to, when people won't listen to you. I had a cousin that didn't listen to me and she was going to do the natural thing. She went, she's a nurse and she went, um, back to work that Monday, she, that Sunday, she said, I'm going to order the products and you know, all it is. And, uh, she went back to work and the doctor told her, no, you need to do the, the radiation if you don't do anything else. And what mm-hmm. it did to her, it burned her lungs. Oh no. And now I, I don't even know if she's going to make it. Um, okay. yeah, she was only in stage one cancer and now she's, she's had several strokes. She's on a, uh, oxygen and everything else, and you know, I I don't know. It, it's just that's just a shame very to de- me. Yeah, you very know. depressed. Yeah. yeah, and that people don't want to listen to you sometimes. But there's other people that have listened to me, like my friend, that they were getting ready to do surgery on his pancreas. They mm-hmm. listened to me two weeks later. No surgery. That's amazing. Wow. That's amazing. Wow. So, like I said, I'm just trying to get the word out to as many people as I can, and that's part of my goal. And like you said, it's devastating when things aren't in your control, but God always has. He knows what he's doing, so we just mm-hmm. have to pray and, and 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 know that they went to a better place if some something did happen. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for sharing that, Koshay. I really appreciate those words, and I'm sure someone that heard those words, that it resonated with them because, you know, they may be that person who's being stubborn. They may be that person who say, you know what, uh, I hear about the products, uh, I hear all these testimonies, but they haven't tried them yet because they may be still not feeling comfortable or maybe feeling some skepticism, whatever the reason is. But the reality is that, and here's one thing I say, I never make guarantees, but one guarantee that I can make is that these products will never work if you don't put them in your body. And that mm-hmm. you can be assured of. So thank you all, all my guests, for coming on and sharing your heart and your, giving us your perspective on this topic. I, I didn't want this to be a negative show. Uh, I apologize to anyone who may be feeling down, but I really want this to be a show of hope. Uh, you know, sometimes we have to uh, call an audible. You know, I, I'm going to take this opportunity to uh, use football as an analogy as we saw the Chicago Bears beat up on the Washington Redskins last night. But that's, I digress. Um, but going back to <laughs> to the show, <laughs> you know, I take this opportunity to say that, and then, and more seriously, though, that um as a member of Shaw Fremont and as a host of this program called Healthy, Wealthy, and Wise, I really believe that it is all about freedom. I want you to hear me. I'm talking about we have an opportunity to share to the world uh, whether they receive it or not, whether they accept it or not. We still our responsibility. It's still our responsibility to voice it. 
to make sure the word gets out. We may say it to a thousand people and maybe one will adhere or listen or participate. You know what? That one make that one person makes a difference. We may send it to a million people and maybe only a hundred people gets it. Well, you know what? We thank God for those hundred people. And that is what our mandate should be. That's what our responsibility should be. So we are looking at an opportunity to utilize this platform to give freedom. There, there are a lot of things out there, I know. But this opportunity has been consistent. I say that because I've been exposed to a lot of things, ladies and gentlemen. And I, and I, I cannot stress to you when I say a lot what that means. And I'm telling you, in most of the cases, they, didn't, they were not sustainable. They were there, they were exciting for a minute, and then things changed. They shifted. Uh, and maybe they all had good intentions. I'm sure they did. But I'm telling you, I've been with Shaw Fremont now going on four years, and it's not going as fast as I want it to be because, you know, when you have something good, you want everybody to see it, everybody to hear it, everybody to know about it. And so you just want it to just burst. But sometimes things don't happen that way. But if you stay on, on the road, you stay consistent, eventually that moment is going to come. And I see that with Shaw Fremont because, again, it offers people freedom. What type of freedom am I talking about? Financial freedom. It's there. There are people in this business, in this opportunity, that are making money every single day. Like Dr. Breakthrough always say, uh, you know, the, 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 the checks are coming. And, and I, I even can't say it how he says it. He says it so eloquently. But <laughs> the business is booming and checks are zooming or something like that. But every time he says I laugh because it tells you people are making money in this business. You know, not everyone is here to make $50,000 a month. Some people just want to make an extra $300 to pay their bills. But the reality is that you have an opportunity to do that with your free mother without getting hurt, without hurting anybody else. And so I really encourage you to, to, to really take a serious look at it because that's one of the freedoms you have with your free mind, financial freedom. You have freedom in your health, in your physical body. You have freedom, emotional freedom, because when you're broke and you're hurting physically, your emotion is just not where it should be. Your psychological being is not what it should be. So Shaw Fremont has the opportunity to give you that emotional, psychological freedom. And then talking about time freedom, this is a big one for me. You know, I, I love what I do uh, and, and, and in regards to helping men get their lives back on track. And, and the reality is that I will probably always have my hand in this in one way, shape, form, or fashion. But the reality is that, you know, what I, I, I enjoy my time freedom to be able to go wherever I want to go. You know, they always talk about me traveling all the time. I'm practicing for when I really have the time freedom, guys. So then you're going to really know. Hey, one day I might be in the Bahamas. One day I might be in London. One day I might be in New York. One day I might be. Chicago, you never know. But everywhere I go, I promise you, I'll be telling people about Shaw Fremont because I have that time freedom. I'm talking about freedom to live a position of location, where I want to live, when I want to live there, how long I want to be there. That's what Shaw Fremont offers you. It also gives you the freedom of who you want to be around. I'm going to stop right there because I know we're coming up on the top of the hour. But wouldn't it be nice to be able to have the freedom to work with who you want to work with? And just be around people of like mind, people who are positive, who want to make a change, make a difference in other people's lives the way you do. And just having that ability to stay away from negative thinking, stinking thinking people, that's what Shaw Fremont offers you, the financial freedom, time freedom, health freedom, freedom of time, freedom of being able to spend time with who you want to spend time with. And so with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank all my guests for being on a part of the show today. Um, you know what? Even though I had no clue after I had uh, a cancellation of my guests, uh, which, you know, was un understandable, but you know what? As leaders we got to be ready. We got to be able to still move forward. Uh, I want to thank you for being a part of the show and sharing your thoughts. And uh, we're going to have another guest next week. Uh, so I want you to come back to GMAP1.com, support this broadcast, support this show. And we want to thank you for coming. And my name is CJ. This is Healthy, Wealthy, and Wise. Uh, I hope something was said today that touched your life in a very positive way that make you go out there. Know that even though the storm may come, that joy comes in the morning. Thank you for being a part of our show. We look forward to seeing you next week, 9 a.m. Central Time, next week at gmap1.com. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful, and a blessed Shaw Fremont Day. God bless you.
Hello? 